A new lifeline for those who can't afford their prescriptions is now open in Claremont County. So it's St. Vincent DePaul's charitable pharmacy we're talking about. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian explaining how this will help those in need get their prescriptions completely free. Wednesday marked the beginning of a new chapter for St. Vincent de Paul's charitable pharmacies. The organization has had locations downtown and in Western Hills for years, but Wednesday, its new location opened in Milford. Internally, I'm just beaming. It's a passion project for the vice president of pharmacies for St. Vincent de Paul, Dr. Rusty Currington, because he grew up in Claremont County. To see the people who invested in me growing up, uh, to see them get free medicine. We want to make sure that we're here to help them. Currington says he's seen people drive 40 to 60 miles to the existing pharmacy locations, showing how needed this new location is, especially considering what can happen when someone can't afford their medication. We see a lot of people who, are, who can't afford their medications, and if they can afford some of them, they might take their doses every other day, half a dose. Now, these people can stop rationing medication and come here. Currington says if you think this service can help you, all you have to do is go to any of the charitable pharmacy locations and walk up to the window. Then the staff here will help figure out if you qualify and get started on filling prescriptions for free. Welcome to Milford. The city of Milford's mayor is also excited about this opening. She's the president of the St. Andrew Conference of St. Vincent de Paul, and right now they're paying for some Milford residents' prescriptions if they can't afford it. It'll just, I guess, help stretch our dollars further. So, you know, money that we maybe were paying out with um, medications, now we can help pay electric or rent or other things. Donors and other supporters who attended the ribbon cutting Wednesday got an inside look at how monetary and prescription donations made this opening possible. Now, Currington is asking for volunteers to help them serve this new community. You can find more information at WCPL.com. In Milford, Anna Izalian, WCPO 9 News.